Hello everyone, it's PC Helper here and in today's video I'll be showing you how to fix lagging and stuttering of the game FIFA 20. So it will help you in increasing FPS also. So I've got around 5 workarounds which will help you in increasing FPS and the only the first workaround is specific to this game that is FIFA 20. Rest all 4 workarounds are general workarounds that will help you in increasing the gaming performance of any game. So follow these steps. So a lot of people have been complaining to me about the performance issues in the game FIFA 20. So just perform these steps until a patch is released to improve the performance of the game. So let's get started. So before performing the first step, I would like to mention that the second step is the most important one and it works for all of the games. So please do perform it. Now let's proceed to the first step. So all you have to do is go to your documents in your computer and go to FIFA 20. In FIFA 20, go to FIFA setup and change your settings as I have done. So as you can see, I've changed everything to zero. So if you have a mid low spec PC then change everything to zero and do as I have done on my screen right now but if you have a average PC you can change MSA level to 1 rendering quality to 2 and that's it you can make these two changes but if you have a low spec PC just keep them to zero have a look at them by default the resolution is 1366768 but I have changed it to 12807020 because I'm making these I'm changing these settings for a low spec PC. So that's it for the first step. All you have to do is change the video settings of your PC and that's it. Now let's proceed to the second step. Second step is the most important one and in this one we'll be downloading a game booster. A game booster is a software that puts maximum of your PC's RAM in running a particular game and increase gaming performance by a margin. So the game booster we'll be downloading is Razer Cortex Game Booster. So search on Google download Razer Cortex Game Booster and go to this first site by Razer.com wait for it to load and you will be redirected to this screen and here all you have to do is click on download now and your downloading will be started its downloading is really simple once you have downloaded it install it and its installation is also really simple and open the app you just have to log in your, your id and if you're not an existing user you have to create an id and you will be here on this game booster so the advanced setup of this game booster is really complicated so i won't be able to cover this in this video so I have made another video, a separate video for the advanced setup of this game booster. You can access that video by clicking on a card on the upper right corner of your screen right now. Or you can access that video by a link in the description of this video. So the link of that video is in the description of this video. Just access this video. In that video I have shown a detailed advanced setup of this game booster. Which will definitely help you in increasing the performance of your game by a margin. So I won't be able to cover that in this video. So that's it for the second step now let's proceed to the third step in the third step we'll be reducing the runtime services of a pc so just search on your search bar services and press enter open the services app it might take few seconds depending on the configuration of your pc and scroll down to x and xbox accessory management double click on it and by default startup type is change startup type is manual or automatic by default you have to disable it and click on apply and click on ok do the same with Xbox Live Auth Manager. By default it is manual or automatic. Just do it, change it to disable, apply it and click on OK. Do the same with Xbox Live Game Save and do the same with Xbox Live Networking Service. Then search for F. Then again disable it and do the same with it. By default it is on automatic or manual. Disable it and click on apply and OK. So that's it for the third step. Now let's proceed to the fourth step. In the fourth step we'll be changing our PC's configurations. So just search for run. And in run type ms con fig that is ms config and press enter so this stands for microsoft configuration it might take few seconds to load depending on your pc's configuration and do the settings as i have done selective startup load system services load startup items now go to boot in boot select no gui boot by default it is not selected 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 and by default it is around 30 seconds change it to three seconds that is timeout now go to services in services hide all microsoft services and by default all the services are ticked here all you have to do is select all deselect all the services that are of no use to you so i have not selected adobe update services and all the adobe services i have also not selected google chrome services and i have also not selected team viewer and azkl service and qm emulator service so if you find any other service that is of no need to you while gaming so that you can also disable that service too so now go to startup and here open task manager 
now here disable maximum of the app that is of no use to you on startup so as you can see i have disabled every app except my real tech hd audio manager and my sound card drivers so i have only enable enable my audio manager rest everything is disabled on startup so all these app do, doesn't take any of my pc's ram on startup if you want to enable any of one of them you can right click on it and click on enable and to disable it right click on it and click on disable so disable maximum of the app from here so it won't take any of your PC's RAM. So that's it for this step. Apply these settings and click on OK. It will ask you to restart your computer. You can restart it now or exit without a restart. In the last step, we'll be changing the visual settings of a PC. To change, so go to your this PC and right click on it and go to its properties. And in properties, go to advanced system settings. In advanced system settings under performance, click on settings and here by default, it is ticked on let windows choose what's best for your computer here click on adjust for best performance and select smooth no, no smooth edges of screen fonts and show thumbnails instead of icons just select these two so this step won't affect your gaming performance by a margin but it will definitely help you in freeing up some ram and it will indirectly help you in improving the gaming performance so just apply these settings and wait for them to load and click on ok one additional thing you can do is for giving a temporary boost to your gaming performance just search run and delete the temporary files so select or search for temp temp okay here first and i've already deleted all the temporary files but if there there is any of any file present in this temp folder of your pc just select all and delete them all and now go to run again and here type percentage sign temp and again percentage sign oh sorry my bad percentage sign and here to percentage sign and press enter and as you can see these all are junk files select them you might be having hundreds or thousands of them if you have not deleted them for a time and permanently delete them and don't worry these all are junk files this won't affect your pc at any chance so delete them all and skip all the files that are not being deleted now go to your this PC, C drive and windows. In windows search for prefetch folder. Prefetch, here it is. Open it, continue and delete all the files present in this folder too. So these three folders contain all the junk files and temporary files of your PC. So deleting them will give a temporary boost to your PC. So that said that that's it for the last step. So that's all what I've got for increasing the gaming performance of the game FIFA 20. If you found this video helpful, please hit the like button below. If you have any doubt, write it in the comment section and don't forget to subscribe for more. Thank you and have a nice day.